How you doing guys? Hi. Uh, today is Friday, February 15th, and I have some more movies. I have uh, stuff from McCarty, eBay, uh, something from an Instagrammer, and Target. Pretty much, I have a little bit in every genre I can think of, and four different formats this week. So... It's a mixed bag of everything. So let's just uh, dive right in and I'll show you what I got. I pre-cut all the bags just because there's a lot of crap. It's so much easier. Uh, first thing, Marie went to oh, yeah, yeah. Dollar Tree <clears throat> on Sunday. She had to stop there to go pick up some stuff and she goes, oh, they have uh, a couple of movies and this looks interesting. I'm Someone like, it. yeah. So uh, she says, oh, they have this if you're interested. And I was like, eh. It, it's a Western. I'm not a big Western fan. And she read the synopsis and she goes, it seems interesting. I said, well, it's a buck. If I don't like it, maybe you'll like it. So it's Echoes of War. Never heard of it. Um, Family and death and horses. Yeah. It has uh, Ethan Embry in it. Uh, James Dale, um, William Foresight, so. And the bottom says, coming home is hell. Yeah, so. It has hell. I know. So, maybe it's halfway decent, so. Maybe. There's that. Here's the back. But, I don't know nothing about it really, but it might be good. Might not be, but we'll see. Uh, second one. This one is something that Marie actually bought. This came from eBay. And oh, yeah. I out for a second. If uh, you know what Marie collects, it's another one for the collection that we don't have. And that is... Wee. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Bambi, the Masterpiece Collection on VHS, brand new factory sealed so um this is the 55th limited edition yeah with the stickers on it yeah so. and it, you see right there somebody back in the day paid 16 dollars and 79 cents for it so 3.99 yeah it was a good deal so <laughs> pick that one up uh, next one, this, I don't remember where it, where it came from, till I open it. Peel this out. Okay. This came from McCarty. Um, this is a 3D movie I didn't have. Decided to pick it up and that's, uh, Drive Angry. With Nicolas Cage and Amber Heard. I like Nicolas Cage. Yeah, Nicolas Cage is crazy, so. <laughs> crazy, 3D equals cheesy goodness. So, and I was happy it came with the nice slip cover. Shiny foil slip. Yeah, it's a nice, nice shiny foil slip. It has a little bit of sticker residue up there. but I like to use olive oil to yeah. get it off instead of like paying for Guzan or something. But yeah, yeah nice. I'll have her work on it. But, like I said, it was six bucks with free shipping for a 3D title I didn't have. That was worth me picking up, so I was happy with that one. Next one. This is one I'm super excited about. When this got released by Vinegar Syndrome, I really wanted it. I loved this movie when I was a kid. I remember when I was too young to watch it. I remember seeing the VHS cover. At the rental store that I used to go to. And I was looking around eBay and a guy had it for, and it was like a day left for, uh, and it was under 10 bucks. And I'm like, I'm going to keep an eye on this thing. And I came in and snipered it at the last minute and got it for $15. And Pretty this, cool looking. This thing goes for... A little bit of yeah, it goes for like thirty. It goes for thirty dollars on vinegar syndrome. So I got it for half the price, 
And what I'm super excited about, it came with a limited slip cover. It's a pretty cool slip. I, so, I was like wowed by it. I that like is it. Bloody New Year. Like I said, with the cool slip. A little bit of embossing. Oh uh, yeah, this thing, it had, it's really nicely embossed on the side. Um, there's the artwork right there. Here's the back. Let me put the slip down. This is, uh, like I said, a really nice release. I'll show you. The reversible artwork? Yeah, I'll show you the reversible artwork real quick. That's it right there. But There you go. You're in the okay. picture. It's pretty, like I said, it's pretty cool. I was really excited to get this. I was, like I said, I I, I would have paid the 30 bucks for so vinegar syndrome for this. But with the baby, it's a little tough to spend thirty dollars on one movie. But fifteen dollars <laughs> with the limited slip, that's uh limited to three thousand all day long. Love this. Can't wait to watch this. I am when this came in the mail. I don't think I've seen it. I peeked in the box and I saw the slip and I was just drooling. I just I took a peek too, that's why I was yeah, all excited. I'm like, this Ooh. was this was one that I was super happy about. Um, next one is off of McCarty. This one right here. And uh, again, trolling around, seeing what they have. The envelope, please. Yeah. This was $6 with free shipping. Oh. And another IMAX for the collection, and that's the Ultimate Wave Tahiti in 3D. This has the 2D and 3D all on one disc. Super excited to have this one. I like anything IMAX. Yeah. I, I saw this one before, and I was looking and reading the back of it, and I was like, man, I, I really want to really buy this movie, and I want to really check it out, so... Super excited to have it now in the collection. So this will be something I'll be checking out very shortly. Uh, next one. Another one? <laughs> uh, yeah, a couple. Okay. Next one is Ooh. one that Marie got me for Valentine's. Around here, flowers, chocolate. <sighs> Push that right we out the door. We buy each other movies. We we'll buy each other movies for Valentine's. I got you a movie. Yeah. Perfect. That's what Perfect. I got you. Exactly. That's a good Valentine's gift right there. Flowers die. Chocolate to eat. And in 15 hours, they're gone. Movies last At forever. At least there's like 100 different Bambi releases. Yeah. So uh, she picked me up this off of eBay. 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 So gone. Way under 10. I'll yeah. Say that. This is... Monster House in 3D. It's kind of hard to see, but it has a really nice foil um, slip, not a slip, a uh, foil artwork. artwork. It's kind of hard to notice it, but it's really cool. I didn't have this movie at all in my collection. Brand new? Yep, it's brand new, factory sealed, as you can see. So I, I already have this movie in my collection. No. I don't have this movie at all in my collection. I was thinking of Paranorman. So, super excited to have it. Because like I said, I didn't have it in any format. So, to finally get it in 3D. Stoked. You gotta wait for your other one on Tuesday. That's the one that I need. Ah, it's okay. So, Valentine's Day gift number two will be here on Tuesday. This one. <laughs> oh, this one is a, a funny one. I won't show, uh, I found this on Riccardi and what the funny thing is, is this came from somebody called Pam that lives in Pottstown, PA. And when I first saw Pam from Pottstown, PA, I thought of Pam's movie, movie dome. dome. So oh, I was sweet. like, is it, is it her? But, uh, when I looked at the picture on Riccardi, I don't think it's it her. It totally says, totally does say Pam from yeah. Pottstown, PA. Wow. So I actually thought it was Pam's movie dome. But, regardless, I found this on McCarty. It was $6, free shipping. Didn't have it. I think this was a, a dollar, 
It was a Dollar General or a Big Lots uh, title. I don't remember exactly. I remember people picking it up, but this is Pirates in 3D. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah. Blu-ray 3D. I know. Uh, DVD. CS got it last week in that 3D haul. And then when I saw that, I was like, oh, man, I, re I wanted that movie. This one is a movie called Seven Dwarfs in 3D that I'm looking for. But uh, I found this one. I was super excited. Mm -hmm. The back of it, you know, looks like kind of like kiddish. Clip. Kids comedy. Yeah. But again. There's probably some adult puns in yeah. there. There always are. The bottom right there, laugh your booty off. How can you, how, how can <laughs> you not buy that? But that's super cool. So... Happy to have that one. And this is a, a really nice, thick, pl uh, clear case. It's kind of the thickness of uh, Spider-Man 2 in 3D. If anybody picked that up from Dollar uh, Tree. I like the Dollar thick Tree. cases. Yeah. Uh, Another one. Yeah, this one is Marie's Ooh. Valentine gift. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. So, I'm going to show that one It's off. probably not horror. Going down. And it is the Bambi Blu-ray edition with the slippy. Oh yeah. Brand, Brand new. Factory sealed because I usually don't open them. I just keep them to look on my shelf. Yeah. And it is embossed. A little thumper there. I love rabbits. Yeah Thank so you. that's super I'm cool. Probably bad at holding it. That's super cool right there. Certified fresh. Oh yeah. Certified fresh, certified Disney. I love me some Bambi. First time on digital copy also, but we're not gonna open it. Blu-ray, so DVD, digital. digital. Digital copy and Disney movie rewards in the toilet because it's not gonna open. Nope. But eh, denied. Yep. So, but happy to. Ha uh, she's happy to have that one. The anniversary edition. Mm -hmm. They look so good, all lined up. Next one. Is a big bag. Big bag of goodness. This was from Unbroken Cinema. As I told you, I think two videos back. He was selling off his whole collection. And uh, before his store went down, a couple of days before, I said, you know, to help him out, I'm pretty much going to buy everything I didn't have in my collection. You know... And I'll pick it up for my collection just to give him some uh, extra coin. And, you know, to help him out. And like I said, it's movies I didn't have in my collection anyway. So I looked at it as I'm going to help him out. And if I don't own it, I'm going to buy it. Regardless if I wanted it or not. Just to help him out. But kind of guy I am. You know, I don't like to see people going through bad times. You know. It's like I always say, sometimes you got to pay it forward. But, I'm going to hold the bag. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do some digging. First one. If I remember right, there's 11 titles in this bag. First one is Dumb and Dumber. The Unrated on Blu-ray. I have this on DVD. Didn't have it on Blu-ray. I was going to say, I think you had that on. So... I'm not a big comedy guy. That's why I really never upgrade comedy. It has to be something really good for me to upgrade in. It has to be dumb. Yeah. So, I mean, it has to be good. So I'm happy to have that one. Next one. Another oh. movie I didn't have in my collection in any format. I totally overwatched that as a kid. And that's uh, Hook with uh, Dustin Hoffman and Robin Williams on Blu-ray. Didn't have it. I think it just got recently released to 4K, but... That's a good one. Yeah. Happy to have that one on Blu-ray. Don't Slippy. peek. I saw a Slippy. That's it. This one. This is the Dodgeball. And that's the Fox Icon Slip. The white slips. That was a... I don't remember how many actually came in the Fox yeah. Icon Slip, but... Grab life by the ball. Yeah, when it when you actually have a slipcover that's different artwork, that's always a plus. 
That's, oh, nice. that's the back of what the slip cover looks like. That's cool. If you guys want to check it out. But a true underdog story. Yeah. This is the unrated edition. I love the unrated. Yeah. Unrated is always cool. Let's see if I can get this back in. Tight slip. But dodgeball. I was shocked. I didn't even have this in my collection. Like I said, comedy is not my favorite format. It's my least favorite. It takes a lot to make me laugh. But I remember liking this movie. Vince Vaughn and uh, Ben Stiller was pretty funny. And when the guy starts uh, throwing wrenches, that always made me laugh. So I was happy to have that one. And with the Fox icon slip, even better. Next one. I did slippy. Uh, a DVD. DVD. But a horror movie I didn't have. And that's The School. Never heard of it. Know nothing about it. But the creepy artwork. And if you can see the back. More creepy artwork. But mm. I like creepy artwork. I like creepy movies. Reminds me of The Others. Yeah. Is that the one with the guys? Yeah. But uh, slipcover is uh, the same as the movie. But I like horror. You Favorite. love horror. Yeah. Who are you kidding? I love horror. But uh, I didn't have this one. Cheesy horror is always good to me. Especially 80s. But this movie is from... Why did I even attempt? 2017. I just weren't that bad. But check it out. See what it's about. Can I pull one out? Oh, you can pull one out. Blu-ray. Okay. Spoiler. We have a Blu-ray. I didn't have this one. Sweet. Dude. <laughs> um. <laughs> sorry about the bulldog. It's chewing on toys. Uh, do where's my car? Have it on DVD. Didn't have it on Blu-ray. I had to pick it up. That's a good comedy. Yeah. I like it. That'll be something I'll be watching shortly. Next one. Ooh, there's a bunch of slips. We'll go non-slip. A movie I didn't own in my collection oh. and I've been actually wanting it. And that's Waterboy on Blu-ray. The Waterboy. Yeah. Foosball. But I love this movie with uh, Adam Sandler, uh, Farazula Block. The devil. Yeah. It's the devil. But... I actually really like this movie, so happy to have that one. Next one, we'll go with a slip. Another movie, Shocked. I didn't have it in my collection. And that's Speed, Speed with, the icon, with the Fox icon slip. So, Keanu Reeves, cool. um, Dennis Hopper, uh, Sandra Bullock. I like the difference. Yeah, I think it's uh, can't go under 50 miles an hour. It's going to blow up. Boom. But get ready for a rush hour. That's a cool slip. So happy to have that one. Ooh, another slippy. This one, me and Marie actually seen this movie. I didn't know it. When he had it, I was like, I got to pick it up. It's based on a true story. And that's Only the Brave. That was a really good movie. Very sad movie, but I really enjoyed it. Um, it has Josh Brolin, Miles Teller, Jeff Bridges, Jennifer Connelly. And uh, it's a good movie. Like I said, it's a, it's a tearjerker. Yeah. So, grab the Kleenex when you watch it. I enjoyed it, though. Next Ooh. one. Oh, uh, this is a, a big box. This one, I was super happy oh, okay. because... I have the first two movies on Blu-ray. I have the third movie on DVD. I didn't own the fourth movie. But this is Predator, the four, the four film collection in a nice box. And I said, I was super excited to get this. It was a, a, a great addition to the collection. Like I said, I'll get rid of the Blu-rays for the first two movies I have and the DVD for Predators. So, and The Predator just came out this year, probably like a month ago. So, like I said, this thing is still pretty pricey. I think it goes to like $30 on uh, 
Best Buy. So for the price that he had it, I had to pick it up. Uh, we'll go with two left. Two left. We'll go with this one. Scream Factory. Ooh. Make Please sure that. Come undone. Yeah. Okay. Still good. Still good. Oh, I love those movies. It's uh, not Bambi. Yeah. Uh, this movie, cheesy horror. Uh, what's her name? The lady from Golden Girls. I forgot. Oh my God. Oh, Betty White. Betty White. Thank you. Come again. But uh, no. Scream Factory released this. Still hasn't dropped enough in price, but for the price I paid for the DVD, I'm picking it up. Lake Placid. This has uh, Bill Pullman, Bridget Fonda, Betty White, as she said. Great movie. Case is kind of wonky. Mm -mm. Doesn't lock. Doesn't oh, lock yeah. well. But it's okay. Yeah, I got plenty that's of DVD cases. Yeah, I have plenty of DVD cases. So now I have the first movie, I have the last movie, nothing in the middle. So I gotta get I gotta get to uh, finding the balance ones. We and we actually watched the last the la the newest movie already, and I we've both seen this one. It's still but, about a chomping alligator. That's yeah, huge. Okay. But how can you say no to a uh, killer? Any a kind real of animals? nail biter. Oh yeah, this year's anaconda. <laughs> but. Super excited. And then this one, the last one, I actually own it three times in my collection already. I actually have... Okay, I can't say anything. I have like something... 15, a couple Bambies. 15 plus over. Okay. This is not even my favorite movie, but like I said, for some reason, I just, I start, I, 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 I actually like disaster films and for some reason, I just keep on finding them. I I'm got... Intrigued. I got a DVD lenticular slip. I have a steel book of this movie. I have the Deadpool slip. And now I have the Fox Icon slip. Oh, no. Uh, Is this a day, the day after, after tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's a good movie, though. I know. It is a good movie. It's like I said, it's cheesy disaster. It's good, though. But I love that movie. <clears throat> I've actually, this is the fourth. I was going to say, this is like number four. Yeah, this is the fourth copy. Like I said, I got the lenticular DVD. That lenticular is cool, though. The Deadpool, uh, Deadpool. cover They're with him cool. on, on uh, the swan floating in the water on the wave. And then I have uh, a steel book. That's uh, I think it's a, a, a Dutch steel book of this movie. It's good. So... Why not have Lots the why not have the fox icon? I, I don't know what it is with me with for it's the only movie in my collection that I own that many times. Most movies I only own once. Some I'll of them share a with you. Some of them I have twice. But four times. That's four, the one he most has, yep. Yeah, four times. So if anybody wants to know what I have in my collection the most, day after tomorrow. Why? I have no idea. But he had it for sale. I was like, I already I have three of them. Why, why? Might as well just get See, a fourth. See, it's fun to collect different ones. Not really. But it is. Killjoy. I know. Okay. Is that it? Gone. Last thing is Target. I stopped at Target after work today. Thanks for the baby products. Yeah. Had to, she says, then... oh, we need some uh, <laughs> stuff for our son. I'm like... I'll run out to Best Buy. They got buy one, get one free. So, I was going to actually stop. Why did I say Best Buy? I mean Target. Uh, Target has buy one, get one free. So, I was, I was actually going to stop at Best Buy to pick up one movie. But buy one, get one free. I wanted to do it. I was thinking about going tomorrow. But since I had to pick up baby stuff, I'm going to do it today. So, I actually got four movies. I got... You're welcome. I know. I got... Uh, Three movies for the buy one, get one free, and then one movie that I was picking up regardless. It wasn't actually on sale. It was actually on sale if you bought the movie and the soundtrack together. You got a $5 gift card, but I was like... I, don't I ain't the... doing it. No, I, I, I don't buy, I don't buy uh, music anymore. But the first one 
a part of the sale is the girl with the the girl in the spider's web. It's the sequel to the girl with the dragon tattoo. I love all the movies pretty much that they made. The three French ones, originals, the girl with the dragon tattoo and I'm hoping I'm really going to like this one, but... Extremely entertaining and badass. Yeah. So it will that? pump adrenaline into your nervous system. How can you say no to that? Good tagline. Yeah. Has uh, Claire Foy... Um, has some good special features. They deleted scenes. Uh, commentary from the director. So... It was a, a no-brainer. It's a nice uh, release of that. So, like I said, I've seen trailers for this. And I was just so intrigued. I really wanted to get it. So, had to pick that one up. Next one. Sh uh, shockingly, I never even really heard of this movie. And then everybody, when it came out, everybody was picking it up. I'm like, what the hell is that movie? What? And uh, I was talking to... Movie Edge on Instagram. I'm like, what's this movie? He goes, oh, that was a huge movie. You didn't hear of it? I'm like, no. Didn't know anything about it. <laughs> and then I actually went on YouTube, watched the trailer, and I'm like, oh, it's a rom-com. I'll pick it up. So, that's mm. Crazy Rich Asians. Like I said, it's a rom-com. I really don't know a lot about it. I enjoy it. Yeah. Hilarious, heartfelt, and historic. Crazy Rich Asians is the rom-com we all needed. So My rom-com is a little bit higher than horror. You're like horror rom-com. Yeah. I'm like rom-com porn. Yeah, so I I like rom-coms. You know, doesn't matter what anybody says. I enjoy them. I, I'm a big fan of them. Yeah. My friend goes from uh, The Sound of Music to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And, th and neither of them are rom-coms, so I don't <laughs> even know what she's talking about. Your genres are everywhere. I know. You enjoy everything. I'm a huge uh, Nicholas Sparks fan. Don't judge. <laughs> uh, and then <laughs> the one that actually got free from those two was I had to finish off the franchise. I have all the other movies and I didn't have this one. And that's uh, Mission Impossible Fallout. I was actually going back and forth between this and the Equalizer 2. I had them both in my hand and I'm like I'm picking up the girl in, in the spider's web. I'm picking up Crazy Rich Asians. And it was between Mission Impossible and uh, The Equalizer 2. And this movie, every review I've ever saw of it or somebody on Instagram all love this movie. Uh, Equalizer 2 was back and forth with people. So I had to go with the sure thing. So I decided to pick this one up. So I was super excited for that one. The action is one off the charts spectacular. So, had to pick that one up. And then the last one, the movie that before I even knew about the sale was the only movie I was going to pick up this week because I had to buy it. And that's uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I, uh, I, lo I love music. I, I was always a big fan of Queen since I was a kid. I think the first song I ever heard was Fat Bottom Girls. And um, it was pretty much a no-brainer. I'm a big fan of biopics. So, every inch. A classic. A classic. There you go. Oh, yeah. But it has the complete Live Aid movie performance that was never seen in theaters. Um... Remy Malek becoming Freddy, the look and sound of Queen, and recreating Live Aid. So, I like I said, I was picking this one up. There's only two movies that are coming out that I really wanted. And this was this and A Star Is Born that actually comes out next week. It's a bright, slippy. Oh yeah, it's a really nice slip. Right. So, same artwork, but I was back and forth on picking up this in on blu-ray or 4k and i decided i'm just gonna pick it up on blu-ray i'll pass on the 4k but 
you know, maybe later on I'll change my mind if I find it cheap. But for right now, I'm happy with this one. You can just pick those up and be a 3D comp. Yeah, we'll go that way. Uh, but that's pretty much everything that I picked up this week. Well, let me phrase that. That we picked up this week. This one has the two bandits in it. Yeah, that's why I let you... Oh, no, I grabbed it before you could pass me those. Okay, let's fix this before you drop it. There we go. Thanks. And that is everything that we got this week. Oops, but that's okay. Perfect. But that's all of it. Got a, More a, than this. a good mixed bag of... Here, put that on the floor. I'll just go. Yeah. Pretty much a good mixed bag of, like I said, of everything. All different formats, different genres, but. Thanks for seeing our pickups and yeah. uh, watching our unedited fun. Yeah, so uh, if you like this video, hit, please hit the like button. If you didn't, try again next time. Uh, if you want to see more videos from us, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Uh, if you've seen any of, this any of these movies like Mission Impossible, Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, Crazy Rich Asians, any of those, uh, spider web, uh, you know, leave a comment down below about them, tell me what you think, and, uh, you know, let us know what was your, uh, favorite pickup that, uh, we got this week. Until next time. Bye. Bye.